Adams, which is 225 or 30,000 pounds of fuel aboard. They pump roughly about 500 gallons a minute. A 750-pound bomb, and that'll be loaded on the external rack, probably going on the right wing there where they were situated. The aircraft carries 24 750-pounders externally, 12 under each wing, plus the internal load, which can be uh, whatever they want to make it, depending on what size bombs they're using, 500s, 750s, or 1,000-pounders. We had 51 bombs on our aircraft, and, uh, but the new models carry 108, depending on the size bombs used. The turnaround time was cut down considerably. We got the aircraft refueled. 13 December, 30 miles west of Pleiku. Two scenes of F-4Cs in strafing attacks on a forested infiltration route. Along with strafing, pilots dropped two 500-pound high-drag bombs on the target. Heavy smoke and foliage prevented a visual damage assessment. Seventeen January, thirty miles west of Pleiku, an aft view looking into the muzzle of a cannon pod on an F-4C, as the pilot strafes Viet Cong entrenched in a wooded area. Three February, F-4 support Tone Thong by flying a strike mission against enemy fortifications twenty-five miles north northwest of Saigon. This strike also was flown from the airbase at Cameron Bay, and air crews reported uncovering and destroying several fortifications and fighting positions. 4 February, report of Allied ground forces. 9 February, F-4Cs hit a heavily defended enemy area near Vin An while supporting Operation Speedy Express. Two bunkers and three structures destroyed or damaged. F-100s support ground troops in contact with an enemy force 25 miles east of Bintui. Three enemy-held structures destroyed, three damaged, four bunkers destroyed, two damaged. 11 February, F-4Ds hit North Vietnamese Army troops in structures and bunkers 15 miles south of Da Nang. Twelve structures destroyed, six damaged, with three secondary fires. 13 February, F-4s release Incendigel on an enemy location while supporting Operation Speedy Express. Three structures and five bunkers destroyed. Speedy Express F-4s hit a large enemy concentration 20 miles east of Bintui. General purpose bombs triggered two secondary explosions. Four structures were destroyed, five damaged, three enemy watercraft destroyed. 14 February, East of Bintui near Truk Yong, F-4s again support Operation Speedy Express. Six enemy structures destroyed, five heavily damaged. Rise, please, for Chaplain Clarahan. Let us pray. Almighty God, our Father, bless these crews, the leaders they follow, the men who support them. Help them to be the men you want them to be. Keep them safe from all harm. 
and let what they do today bring a better tomorrow. Bless their families and loved ones. Give to them the same peace and security that these men try to bring to the world today. Amen. That's good, man. The specific model of B-52 that we're using in this theater is the B-52D. It's the only B-52 in the uh, SAC force that has had the big belly modification. The airplane uh, was not originally designed to carry iron bombs, so to achieve this end, this modification was uh, necessary. As far as general characteristics of the bird are concerned, it's better than 180 feet from wingtip to wingtip, 156 feet long, and our operating gross weights uh, out of Thailand or in the neighborhood of 400,000 pounds. Check co-pilot, altimeter is 2990. Elevation error is 50 feet. Okay, pilot 2990, I have a correction of plus one. 2990, zero correction, co-pilot. Seconds. OK, 
Okay, we should have one and a half left set. 20 seconds. That's when grab is checked and down. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Four and. You're playing a travel schedule. I have it. Take off the light. Coming up 70 knots. Now, back. Geometry on this stick is miserable. And who designed that? I don't know. They don't care. Yeah, it was one over there. Whoops. Flight control. I've lost the flight. Flight flight control system. Uh, I'll put it. Let it go. All right, just sucking. No, I can't hold it. Right. Let's go. Reject it. Just a second. No, I can't hold it. Right. Let's go. Reject it. Hey, this is with the Yamane 
of you with a little bit of concentrate on that big one in the center. You still got about half the uh, nitrogen pressure on the ball. I don't know about the nose. I can't get in on the engine. You can see right here the Probably going to need just a little water fog here. Finish this thing off. I don't think it's going to work. We walk to the three to the seventy-five. I think we'll have to get that thing off. I can't see it. Bring a vehicle up in here? No, fuck it. No. What are you going to do? If I could be six, eight feet in the air, I could come down on How about 54? What do you think? What are you going to do? Do you think I should try to get straight down? See, see if you can. Won't hurt. And uh, we'll get that old 530 we brought over here and we can finish off. Okay. Get up there to it. Got plenty of line there, Pat. Just watch your stuff. You got plenty of line. Hold the Pat. Pat. How's your arm? I think probably we can go ahead and say that all of them are close to the very sheets and tell them we'll be close tomorrow. Is that a Roger? That's <laughs> cooling. It's still hot down there. Yeah, it's hot. Yeah. We're trying to get a little more down here. Cool. Give it a shot over to the back side every now and then. Yeah, there you go. Hit. Oh, that's the right one. I think I'm getting down near the bottom. Sounds like it's getting close to the end there. Yeah, yeah I'm afraid you're running out. So. Yeah, I really need some water. <laughs> yep. You got that metal. <laughs>
Find the graphite in there, that's for sure, huh? Yeah, what does graphite do? Yeah. Right? I think I got asbestos soap. Closer? Eventually. Great, yeah. great, I love it. Yeah, seven years from now. This thing slowed down all four punch, huh? <laughs> well, feel the wind blowing through his hair. Right Same next time by fucking Harley. <laughs> Major Wilson, Bobby. <laughs> you say you want with the gate or you want to wait for the power line across the road? Starting to cook back up again. Huh? So you're starting to cook back up again. Yep. All we got to do is look for the green and blue flames. You see that? It's time to get back at you. Um, well, you know, What's green and blue flames? Is that new deal? That does never happen in a big field. Blue and black. I got room for one more. Be careful so you don't get too close to it. Oh, yeah. You guys got a medical person over here? Unfortunately. No? No.